rational expression or equations with rational expressions video number two let's look at this equation here x over x minus seven plus six is equal to seven over x minus seven well first thing we need to do is figure out what our least common denominator is going to be in this case there is only one denominator that's not one and that is x minus seven and so we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by x minus seven so we have to multiply x over x minus seven by seven we have to multiply six by x minus seven and we have to multiply seven over x minus seven by x minus seven i think a minute ago i said seven somewhere where i meant x minus seven now let's do the multiplication we have to multiply first here and then there when we multiply x minus seven by x over x minus seven this x minus seven and that x minus seven are going to cancel out and that's going to leave us with x then when we multiply x minus seven by six we use the distributive property x times six is six x negative seven times six is negative forty two here's our equal sign on the other side of the equation the x minus seven is divide out and that leaves us with seven okay now we have some like terms on the left hand side x and six x add up together to give us seven x we still have our minus forty two we still have our seven we're going to add forty two to both sides of the equation that leaves us with seven x on the left of course negative forty two plus positive forty two is zero so that's gone seven plus forty two is forty nine so it appears at first glance that x is going to be seven but remember we always need to check our answer before we go before we're done so let's check that by replacing x with seven in the original equation so if we put seven over seven minus seven and we add six is that going to give us the same thing that seven over seven minus seven is well here's a problem seven minus seven is zero and we have a zero in the denominator not just once but twice well we can't have zeros in the denominator and because we can't have zeros in the denominator seven is not a solution to this equation and in fact this equation has no solution and so we will actually write no solution when we write our answer All right. Let's try another example. We're going to solve the equation negative 5x over 3x plus 3 is equal to 2x over 6x plus 6 added to 6x minus 4 over x plus 1. We'll have to find our common denominator. Notice that most of these uh, denominators can actually be factored and so let's factor those to help us find the least common denominator. 3x plus 3 will factor by pulling out a 3 and I messed that up. When we factor out a 3 from 3x we get x. When we factor out a 3 from 3 we get 1. 6x plus 6 we can pull out a 6 that leaves us with x plus 1 and then we have x plus 1 as this denominator. So when we find our least common denominator, we look at all the different factors we have, which would be x plus 1, shows up a bunch of times. And then we have a 3 and a 6 as factors. Well, 3 can be multiplied by something to give us 6, and so our least common denominator is going to be 6 times x plus 1. So we're going to now multiply both sides of the equation by 6 times x plus 1. So let's do that. And when we write the rest of this out, we're going to rewrite our denominator in factored form because it makes it easier to see how things are going to fall out. 
So we're going to multiply 6 times x plus 1 by each term, or each rational expression that we have. Again, we're going to rewrite each denominator in a factored form. Alright, do the multiplication. On the left hand side, when we multiply x, uh, think of these as being over 1 again. Uh, this x plus 1 out here will knock out that x plus 1 down there. So those are gone. Also, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And so we're going to multiply 2 times negative 5x. That's going to give us negative 10x. Now, on the right-hand side, after we put the equal sign, when we do our multiplication here, we multiply 6 times x plus 1 by that first rational expression and by the second. On the, the first one, the first multiplication, the 6's will divide out, the x's, x plus 1's will divide out. That leaves us with 2x. When we do the second multiplication, the x plus 1's will divide out, but we still have a 6 on the outside, and we still have 6x minus 4 on the inside. So let's do that multiplication. 6 times 6x gives us 36x, and 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Now we've got some like terms on the right-hand side of the equation. Let's go ahead and combine those, and then move the negative 24, uh, I'm sorry, move the 38x over to the left-hand side. Negative 10x minus 38x will give us a negative 48x, and then we get a negative 24 on the right. We need to get x by itself, so we'll divide both sides by negative 48. And negative 24 over negative 48 is positive one half. Now, is one? And sometimes it's more trouble than it's worth to actually try to multiply all this out or plug this back into the original equation. But what we will do is at least look in the original equation here and see if we get a zero in a denominator somewhere if we replace x with one half. Well, when we do the when we look at the first rational expression, 3 times 1 half plus 3 is not going to give us a 0. Neither is 6 times a half plus 3. Neither is a half plus 1. And so we can conclude that 1 half is our solution for this equation. This concludes part 2. Now look for part 3 and watch that.